Hello, I'm Stephen Gonzalez, Chief Justice of the Washington Supreme Court. The historic challenges and events of 2020 follow our judicial system and all of us into this new year. I want to update you and share some of the new ways our courts are working to administer justice in a safe and accessible way during the pandemic and on some important new work we're doing to eradicate racism in our justice system. First, I stress that Washington courts have remained open throughout the pandemic, and we will continue to be open, guided by our Constitution and the State Department of Health. As you all know, in-person proceedings carry risks, and Washington courts have made dramatic changes to limit those risks. While many courts have had to pause or limit some proceedings during the worst days of the pandemic, courts across Washington have also adopted new video, telephonic, and digital options to keep cases moving forward. Washington courts have held thousands of remote proceedings with more being held every day. While these options aren't perfect, during the pandemic, they offer a safer way to provide justice. To maintain critical court services, balancing safety and the demands of justice, the judicial branch continues to adopt new processes and to develop new tools. For example, a new statewide court rule significantly expands the ability of courts to authorize interpreters to work remotely. Other changes in court rules and processes have authorized courts to use large facilities to accommodate social distancing. We have authorized remote jury proceedings and adjusted timelines and much more. All the changes have been studied carefully to balance competing interests and requirements for transparency and access and have been made only after extensive input. The other work of the judicial branch continues. Washington state judicial leaders recently developed a new eviction resolution program that requires new problem-solving steps before eviction cases can come to court. The program has launched in six pilot counties. We hope it will help both landlords and tenants alike to prevent evictions and come to the best solutions possible. Our branch also continues to work with legislative leaders on improving our state's response to domestic violence to make that response much more effective in reducing violence in the home. We continue to research and collect data that informs our efforts and our decisions. We recently signed a contract to modernize case management in our district and municipal courts. This new project and another already underway in superior courts will bring electronic filing to all of our courts starting in 2021. Another important new initiative is the establishment of the Racial Justice Consortium. The consortium will support efforts emerging from our state Supreme Court's invitation to judicial branch members last year to take concrete steps to eradicate racism, especially the devaluing of black lives. The point is to do more than identify the problems, but instead to make structural changes so we can improve outcomes. Our judicial branch has learned a great deal this past year and will not leave those lessons behind us. We have learned how remote technologies can improve access to justice beyond the requirements of a pandemic. We've been harshly reminded that our efforts to stamp out racial inequity within our justice system still have a long way to go. Our Court Recovery Task Force is actively studying lessons learned during this time regarding access, equity, and operations that can be carried forward to improve the delivery of justice throughout Washington. This has been an extraordinary difficult year for many reasons, but judicial branch members are committed to not only sustaining the justice services needed in Washington, but to improving them with what we've learned this year. I want to thank all of the court staff and judicial branch members who've worked so diligently to keep justice moving We've paid careful attention to the evolving health information and guidelines and have used innovation and determination to provide justice. I also want to thank all those who are combating bias, who are improving access to justice, 
and who are moving us closer to the great promise of this nation of justice for all. Despite the challenges behind and ahead of us, we are committed to providing fair and accessible justice for everyone in Washington. Thank you.